Well, it's now been a year since President Joe Biden signed the bipartisan infrastructure package into law. And as Fox of the United States, Kristen Eskow shows us, it's already making an impact right here in Indiana. According to the White House, roughly $3.3 billion in funding that's been announced is tied to the bipartisan infrastructure law, impacting more than 90 projects across Indiana. Much of that funding dedicated toward roads and bridges. It's getting more expensive to improve Indiana's infrastructure. Officials say road construction costs have risen 36% on average since 2020, largely due to inflation. A lot of our companies are eating those costs. Richard Hedgecock runs Indiana Constructors Incorporated, which represents about 200 companies. It's those subcontractors on those jobs, and it's those uh, minority contractors on those jobs. Those are the ones that we, that we worry about. Hedgecock and INDOT say the funding from the federal infrastructure law has helped cover those additional costs. INDOT spokesperson Natalie Garrett says that money goes into a state fund that reaches ongoing projects. We're able to take that funding and continue to deliver um, on our current priorities, um, projects that we already have in place. There's North Split, um, I-69 finish line, um, Clear Path 465. The federal funding goes beyond roads and bridges. The White House says roughly a quarter million Hoosier households are receiving money for high-speed Internet. And the Indianapolis International Airport is getting about $13 million. It's an opportunity to do some things. Um, where airports would not have done them otherwise. Hedgecock says thanks to state funds, Indiana won't have to rely too heavily on the new federal money to get projects done. We've done a really good job in the state of Indiana in putting together a funding formula to, to meet the needs. The White House says over five years, it expects about $6.9 billion in federal funding to go toward Indiana road and bridge projects. In Indianapolis, Kristen Escow, Fox 59 News. Chris